Fishing freaks, welcome on back to the channel. I went crappie fishing last night, nocturnal crappie fishing. I was so looking forward to this video. I wanted to film a nocturnal crappie episode because I've never done it before. Never just dedicated it, myself to it. And I was out there for like four or five hours and I had bait fish all over the live scope. It was night, night scoping. That's really what it was. The, the waters were coming alive with bait fish, but I only ended up catching one white bass. And then I had a snake crawl into the back of the boat and that, and that was it. Snake just jumped in my boat. Get out of here, little wiggler, please. Thank you. I was shocked that I, I could not draw any crappie away from these docks and other areas with my lights. I drew all these bait fish and I, I just, I had gar and there was catfish. I could not draw the crappie away. So it made me mad. Frankly, I'm pissed. And I am going to hunt them down today. You ever forget to take your toter off? That's what I just did. So I witnessed something interesting last night that I was not expecting. That marina back behind me, that's mainly where I fished. But that's not the only place I fished, but in there, I could see some crappie and other fish, like white bass, that were not moving. The shad were very active. I would troll around with my lights under the boat and shad would just follow me everywhere I went. I would see crappie locked under the docks, not moving. I saw white bass even that were just suspended, only like five or six feet down, not moving. But today, we're going middle of the day right now. Weather report is, you know, it's well over 100, 15, 20 mile an hour winds. We're gonna go hit every little piece of brush that we can find. This is the time of year when the crappie and the bass really, they're mostly offshore. They'll always live up under those marinas. That's a staple, that's a home. There's always bait, there's always cover. On, these, on this brush stuff, main lake, and it doesn't have to be big. It can literally be a piece of brush the size of my arm and it'll hold a, a crappie or a bass. But they've also been hit with all sorts of lures all summer long. They get kind of finicky. You usually have to go slow or, or maybe just get a reaction bite out of them. It, it gets a lot tougher. I'm gonna do a milk run of piles that should have fish on them and we're gonna we're gonna take it to them. We're putting them in the cooler. I still got my eyes in the cooler from last night. It's empty. We gotta fill it. So let's get the dangle on, boys. Classic combo right here. Pink one eighth ounce jig head. I'm going with the dangle dart. Monkey milk dangle dart. It's good. It's good everywhere. Gotta go with that heavier weight today because of the wind. Let's do it. It's running gun. Just got a bite. First cast. That's a big one right there. I want that one. Come on. Oh, that's a good one. That might be a bass. It's not a bass, it's a large crappie. They biting during the day. Oh my gosh, it was a drum. 
suspended drum on top of the pile. Well, first strike. Not sure I'm gonna eat him. Oh, oh gosh, it's a fat one. Ugh. Ah, woo, man, it's right in the schnoz. What a drum. Actually, it looks like he'd be a decent eater, but that fish was suspended on top of the pile like a giant crappie would or a bass would. So they're not always on the bottom, but they have a, I think that's called a subterminal mouth. Ooh, look at that. Those are zebra mussels on my finger. He's been eating those. That's interesting. Drums just eat everything, man. Eat everything. All right, we'll let him go. New target spotted, some shallower ones. In this case, these are shallower, so I'm gonna stay 15 feet away. These are like nice ones. I'm actually gonna pick up a little grub. There's my grub. I'm gonna swim something through there first on a lighter jig head, see if they'll react to it. Then I'll creep up on them couple of big ones in there. Hog jammers. Oh, that one saw it. That one saw it. These are big. Switch for a second to a snacky. Sometimes they like that snacky swimming through there, these big ones. Should go with something big and bright here. This one wants it. Oh my gosh. Come on. That's a big one. Oh, it's coming up to it. Oh, just turned. Just turned. Okay, I'm going to rig up another rod. So, my rod I'm fishing with is seven foot, which is usually pretty good most cases but what I'm trying to get right on top of them but not get too close I need this extra length of this rod so this is a 10 footer we're gonna rig that up same thing pretty much that way we can get right on top of these big ones just hovered over their head They are definitely interested in it. Oh God, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Oh my gosh, my line broke. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I don't have the fish on anymore. What? Oh my God. What the hell was that? That was a giant. Oh gosh, guys. I don't know. My line broke like way up the reel. Oh, dang. That tactic definitely worked. Just gonna have to re-rig. That was crazy. That thing felt huge. I've actually never had my braid break on a crappie before, so I'm really hoping that wasn't my PB or something. All right, back in the game. 
10 pound fluoro liter. Usually go with eight, but dealing with some hog jammers right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh God, they're just spooking right at the last second. Unbelievable how they're just, oh my God, back on it, back on it, back on it, back on it. Take a lick, take a lick. Give me a lick. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, licked it, licked it. Oh, just freaking licked it. I cannot believe they're all over it and they won't eat it. Holy spittoons. I am getting rejected so hard right now. It feels like a middle school dance. I'm just, I'm getting it right in front of them. They'll come up to it and then they kind of turn or skirt and they'll come back to it. I just don't want to pull the trigger. They don't. I'm going to keep moving until I find the ones that do, but if I'm a, looking at the farmer's almanac, I guess this is like not the time. But last night wasn't the time either, so I don't... Oh! I want to put some daggum slabs in that cooler. I'm going to make it happen. folks hooked ourselves a large mouth and here he comes get in here son god Lee, I'm so frustrated. I almost want to throw you in the cooler. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I really don't eat bass. Oh, guys, I thought that was a big crappie creeping up on my bug. I hate bass hitting those baits. They always tear them up. I actually don't. I don't hate that means I have to go back put another one on no know some people that make some baits not a big deal seems like they definitely are looking at the chartreuse bottom more it's getting their attention right there but crappie are locked up On, show me the money. Yes. 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 Good one. Saw it, wanted it. And a magnum. Oh my gosh. Literally broke my line on the swing in. What the heck? What the heck is going on here? My line broke again on the braid. fish captured feeling salty now what is going on I'm almost wondering I have a uh, got a cracked guide I think that's what it is it's exactly what it is guys dad gummit guide is cracked right here on this on my 10 footer it's unfortunate at least I got that fish in the boat. Okay, well, we solved that mystery. So I've got one big crappie. I lost another one to that unfortunate state of affairs, but normally I, I'll see it beforehand. I'll see the little phrase happening and I did not, did not notice it. So just a clean break right there. Dad gum it, man. Okay, as an alternate, we have micro. Micro light, seven foot, two piece. Doesn't have the length, but 
It's another rod to work with on switching up baits. Second cast in, y'all. Second cast in, another big, and then he slurped it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Literally just re-rigged. I don't think these fish fully understand what's going to be happening to them later. I am going to. I'm going to fillet you so slowly. I'm going to take my time with a little regular old standard fillet knife and just savor the flavors. Mmm. Got a little extra on the nose there. Summer slime. God, I've been working my tail off. All right, this is this is my prom date. All right, I've been rejected over and over and over and over again. She ain't the prettiest, but you know what? She's going to dance. All right, number two going in the cooler. Yes, sir. That one came out like a honey badger, just like the first one. There's another one. Oh, okay. There's a little there's a little something here. This is kind of an interesting piece of brush. It's like I almost had a 45, and the ones on top are not really they're not really doing the program. But once I get it kind of below, like underneath. Where it starts overhanging, they, they're coming out. There's another one. It's right on that little overhang. Oh yeah. Yep, yeah, these are all big ones. Yes, sir. These are honey badgers. <laughs> they don't give a crap. They are eating it right now. Still have to put it in the exact specific spot, but if I put it in there, they're coming out. They're not. They're not playing games. <sighs> Heck yeah, boys! Now we're working. Can't tell you how that, how good that feels after a night and a morning of rejection. So this tree is leaning over. It's kind of at a 45. And uh, the ones at the top of the tree, they're not really biting. But once I, if I can swing it kind of under here, which my line is touching sort of the top of the tree there, but I can swing it under here, they're coming out. And they're coming out like a foot or two to grab it. I'm not having to put it right on top of their nose. These are just kind of big floaters I need to catch. Okay, yep, they're going back in their little cave, but still catchable. Just got to lace it into the juice. Got him. I didn't even see that strike. Just felt it. Ah. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, let's go, boys. We're swinging into the danger zone here. Oh, he's coming. He wants it. Oh, oh, he's going to play games. Oh, came out for the attack and stopped. There's another one that's coming, though, wants it. Oh, my gosh. Just licked it. Barely hit it. All right, we're going to switch it up on him. Go dangle dart. I can pull one more out of here and be a great success. Coming in slowly, creeping in. Good one down there. Come on, baby. Jump up there and eat it. Here we go. It's not the fish I was looking at, but. Oh, you little. Oh. On the sling. Oh, that makes me mad. I want to capture every single one of them. Oh, 
Oh, wow. What do we have here? A micro crop. What is in your face, my guy? Oh, is this part of the tree? What kind of tree is this? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That boat carpet's about like lava. See ya. Good stop. They finally started getting fickle on me where they'd come out, look, go back down, do all that nonsense. So, I, that's a, I feel so relieved right now, guys. So relieved. I'm going to try to find a few more like that that just have badgers on them that'll just come out and grab it. And I will call it a successful meat getting day. 24 hours, really. It's now 1.30. It's been 12 hours since I stopped fishing last night. This is gonna be our last stop right here. I've run around to three other spots. They're all finicky. There's, you know, a couple bass in there, but we're not really bass fishing today. There's a bunch of piles out here on this big point. I'm gonna pick one and start targeting. Just want a couple more. Every, every time I go crappie fishing, I try to get, you know, five to 10 and then that will get me some fresh meals for the coming weeks. And then I, I go out and reload, you know? I usually do not try to go all day and get, you know, 25 or whatever it is. I just like to catch them, keep them fresh, and then repeat. Slurp me, Sally. There we go. Slurp me, Sally. Dangle dart, connected. White I really cannot emphasize enough when you're going crappie fishing. You know, I did a bass fishing video about this the other day, but the, the hot summer heat, the doldrums, whatever you want to call it, uh, the dead stick for crappie is so key. And obviously, plastics, plastics, plastics. You have to not move them, all right? So, you know, fishing a swim bait and all that, really, it's not doing me any good right now. It looks awesome in the water. You think they, and sometimes they will come look at it, but they won't eat it. It's gotta be dead still. What you have to do if you're fishing in a, in a boat, or if you're fishing in a, on top of a dock and going straight down, is you have to give that vertical presentation, keep it above the fish. Crappie are always looking up. That's the way their eyes are positioned. They're always looking up. Keep it above the fish and don't move it. And if you're live scoping, what you don't want to do is, you know, you see them coming, you get excited, you're like, oh, I'm going to work it. I'm going to work it to get the fish to bite. Not right now. This is not the time. And that's why having a longer rod really helps because you can sit there and just dangle it, you know? But I'm getting close enough with these fish. I'm in 20 feet of water right now, so it's, it's not a big deal. I'm basically right on top of them. Throwing the seven foot, it would probably help to have a little lighter weight, but it's, it's a little windy out here today. We got boat traffic and all that. So um, I like the eighth ounce for, uh, for these conditions right now. Go lighter line if you can too. If you're having trouble getting them, go lighter line. Sometimes it helps to go down to six. I got 10 on right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm just brunting through it right now, but I'd like to get one more. I, I've got a nice pile of fish, but man, they are, they are glued. So crazy. This is what I saw last night too. It's like, I could not get them to budge a fin. Yeah. I couldn't even see a flicker of a fin. Not many honey badgers out here today, but if I get one more, I'll be satisfied. I am just slowly, slowly swinging in. You know a crappie is going to bite when they, when they turn on your bait. So you'll see them turn on live scope, they're interested. Not moving a muscle. Uh, this is crazy. That it's crazy to catch one like first cast and then none of them move a muscle. Usually you'll get some follows, some chases. 
I'm just going to hold my rod out straight out like this. I always like to start with a high presentation too. So first cast in there, just keep it, keep it well above them. And then if you notice those fish are not playing ball, then you can kind of go off on the sides and duck down on the edges. Oh, that one smoked it. Come here, baby. The dead stick. These last two have eaten it really well. Like they're thumping it hard. All right. Now we got a cooler full of them. Let's go. God. Lee, exacting my revenge on these things has been a grind. There's another one, a good one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Come here, baby. You're mine. figured you out today. <sighs> Landed. The GoPro just cut off. He wanted the dart. He wanted the dart. Now I actually had to work it into the pile a little bit, not moving it, but just keeping it in the pile. Well guys, we have just reached that time of year where it's an absolute grinder. So hot, August, never, never great down here in Texas for fishing. But we were able to grind it out and get some really good fish. Dangle dart, bumpy bug, those baits that don't move very much and just letting it sit right on top of them. I don't know what was going on in the night bite. I would think it would be good, but it was not. It's just a grinder all the way around. But this is what we came up with. Big boys, or big girls, I should say. Gonna get some great meat off of those. Maybe make some cakes, maybe do some blackening. Maybe just do a good old fashioned golden crispy. I'm telling you what, it's hotter than Hades out here. I'm ready to jump in the lake. My hat is in the water now floating, so I gotta go get it. Subscribe to the channel for more outdoor activities. Smash that like button for grinding it out for you guys. Drop your comments and questions about crappie fishing or any kind of fishing down below and give me some ideas for some upcoming videos in this heat. And I'll see you guys on the next one.